This is not financial advice, it's not legal advice, for entertainment, educational purposes only, and everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out, see what I'm thinking, see how I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell you every day, the data they release us is false. It gives a false narrative to the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the FTX debacle, or what, what I consider one of the biggest crimes of the 21st century, the 21st century, I was very, very surprised to see Ken Griffin of Citadel go on TV and complain about it. I mean, it's like the pot calling the kettle black. I was very surprised that he complained about their political donations. He complained about their transparency. He, he complained that they committed fraud. Ken Griffin of Citadel with their track record of fines over the last probably 60 fines over the last 20 years are complaining about the actions of another institution. Okay? It was it was actually mind-boggling to me that Ken Griffin could actually get on a TV show and complain about another individual, another company making political donations to political parties. When Ken Griffin... And Citadel have probably, they're probably, if you got the top five political donators in the United States of America, I believe that Ken Griffin and Citadel would be on that list. Okay? Ken Griffin, who went before Congress and some allegedly lied, some allegedly lied, the same Ken Griffin who donated millions of dollars to DeSantis is on a TV program being interviewed and complaining about FTX political donations. It's absolutely outrageous. And he was complaining about the transparency of FTX. He was complaining about the fraud. And he was complaining that people are gonna lose billions and billions of dollars. Was he concerned about people losing billions and billions of dollars when he conspired with Robin Hood to shut down the buy button in January of 2021, Citadel is only concerned about people losing money when he's not making any money in the process. Has Citadel made some money off the FTX fiasco? Would he be complaining about it? I don't think so, but that's just my opinion. Please don't buy, hold, or sell based on anything I say in these videos. And that he's complaining about the transparency. It, I find that to be absolutely outrageous given what Citadel does, given their role as market maker, hedge fund, and dog pool, given the fact that they have a monopoly on our stock market, which I believe, in my opinion, and that's why I filed a lawsuit, I believe it violates our antitrust laws, it violates our monopoly laws, and it should not be allowed. Bottom line. So for him to be on a TV show complaining that FTX was creating a monopoly in the crypto world when he had what I believe to be a monopoly in the stock market is absolutely outrageous. And here's another thing that I found a little interesting. I believe that he was bashing FTX because he is in the process of building his own crypto network with virtue. So could this be the main reason why he's up there bashing FTX for their criminal activities when I believe Citadel has been engaged in behavior that's been a lot worse over the last 20 years. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff, and tell me what you think about Citadel complaining about FTX and political donations when they donate to both parties more than most institutions in America. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.